hello again, friends. Welcome back to twitch.tv slash trooperberry, and welcome back to The Long Dark. So here's the thing. Um, finishing out Faithful Cartographer didn't take quite as long as I anticipated. I thought it was going to take us right up to the update, maybe even into the update. Um, turned out not to be the case. We actually got the whole thing knocked out yesterday. So what are we going to do instead? Well, here's what I'm thinking. Um, there is some prep work to do. Um, the update is dropping today. As far as I know. There haven't been any last second delays. Um, but I don't know what time. And obviously I am well ahead of what I, I, I think Pacific time, which is what Hinterland is on. They're over there in Vancouver. So it's like, it's like 6 a.m. there. So I'd imagine probably not dropping for at least a few hours yet. But instead, uh, what we're going to do, we're going to get out of HRV. No shade to HRV, just not where I want to be at the moment. In addition, uh, we, we need to go back. We're going to go back to Milton. We're going to make a few arrows. Um, we're going to try to get ourselves ready for when the update does drop so we can go chase the, the new tail, however that works in the game. And I also want to do a little more work toward one of the few achievements I don't have. I only have three to go. Uh, one is Stone Age Sniper, which is just... You gotta, you know, being a, a rabbit with a rock from... What is it, like 80 feet or however many meters that is? Um, 500 days, obviously, which we're, we're still working towards. And then the other one is called... Oh, uh, is it like Exploration Game? You have to visit every indoor location in Coastal Highway and Mystery Lake. And somehow, I still don't have that. So, when we're done with our business in Milton, we'll head back to Mystery Lake, and then we'll just start entering buildings, I guess. And if we get all through Mystery Lake, and the achievement still doesn't pop up, we'll, well, we'll make plans to go to Coastal Highway and see what's up there. Although, presumably, by that point... The, uh, the update will have dropped, so we will have other things to occupy us. But that's a problem for later. For now, we do this. All right, so when last we left off, uh, we had just finished the last bit of mapping. As right there, we have 215 out of 215 locations. So that is fully complete, unlike we were missing exactly one memento and one note, which will annoy me to no end. So the question now is, what do we do here? Because, well, no, I think here's what we're going to do. It's rather late in the day. And we're at we're all the way up here by the lake cave. And we want to get down here. But obviously there's no rush. Because we uh Oh the, the crow feathers reappear. We had one disappear on us yesterday. That's fine, I suppose. Anyway, yeah, so Rather than go charging out and, you know, put ourselves in a bad position, we'll just, we'll hang out here for the night. Because I'm trying to remember where else, uh, where, where else would we go? Yeah, yeah, because if we're, if we're going to take the quick way um, out of here, it will involve some climbing. Climbing down, 
so it, it's not so onerous, but still climbing. So... Well, why don't we just be smart about this? We'll set up shop for the evening. So where are we? Oh, yeah, we, we could... We got some firewood in the cave, but we could use a bit more. I've kind of developed this reflex to go ahead and if, if I see limbs and I know I'm going to be staying somewhere, I just go ahead and harvest the limbs because, and I know exactly what it is too. Um, it's a holdover from being in Broken Railroad and then getting stuck in a blizzard, you know, by the cave that's uh, just off the road uh, that takes you to the hunting lodge. And um, actually, no, actually no, it happened there, and it also happened by mountaineers. The uh, limbs would just up and disappear for reasons you know, unbeknownst to me. Like I would see them, but then the and the bl like a blizzard would kick in, and the firewood I needed would just magically vanish. Hey, hey, strawberry cherry, welcome, welcome. How you doing? Um, I am doing pretty okay. Um, we're just vibing, having completed a uh, faithful cartographer. Oh yes, let me get just a quick stop here. Let me give you a proper introduction because I. Am a proper streamer. I get my fingers to do the thing they're meant to do. Hey, there we go. But good to see you. Welcome, welcome. Uh, hope your day is going well. Yeah, your, your Thursday is treating you well. Yeah, my pleasure. Oh, wow. Wow, the crow feathers really stack up in here. I like it. I don't know how the crows get in here without us seeing it. I mean, this is a cave and all, but far be it for me to complain about f free, conveniently located feathers. Yeah. Yeah, so, uh, um, what have you been playing recently? Uh, Strawberry Cherry, if you don't mind my asking. I think I, I've seen you. I, have you been uh, laying off the long dark? Not that I can blame you. I know there's no, there's we are just we had there's an absolutely silly amount of good games out there, just begging to be played. Let's see. Can we find the dividing line of the? Okay, I think it's right about there. Feels like night is coming. Twenty-three. 23, 5. Oh, how convenient. The dividing line is actually here by this little, this little wolfie. Who has a little bit of meat on him. Cool. go with the stick we'll just pop some of that firewood on there when we're done then we'll we, uh, we'll f we'll make a little bit more water I don't know if we're low but can't really have a little too much water not necessarily on your person but at least have ready access to it Go. Ah, yes, tinder plugs. 
Definitely no need for Tinder plugs. I, I will I will reiterate my uh, you know my my stance of why. Uh, oh, perfect. Eh, we can bring that with us. Um, yeah, there's really no reason we shouldn't be able to still use Tinder plugs past fire starting three. Yeah, we could do you get a uh, you get a fire starting bonus maybe or you know just either a percentage or you know they add a little burn time. It just it just feels strange to have something be completely obsolete. You know, once you once you've progressed past not even all the way through fire starting, but even just like midway through. Okay, take that, take that. Start another round. How is that? So, okay, that's fine. Yeah, we'll just grab all the things. Oh, geez. Four, 40 minutes? Is that going to be... Yeah, that should be fine. Although if I really wanted to min max it, I would have I would have used the knife I just the knife I just took off of the wolf rather than my good knife. But alas. Okay. Head back here. go so you got 44 minutes you have eight minutes okay we'll just take care of that real quick like uh, now let me remind myself did we do we have the uh, uh, we do not actually well why do we fix that so here so HRV, what do we call this? The Lake Cave? Yeah, Lake Cave. Two wolf, four guts. Water, plenty. Well, let's make one more cup of coffee. How about that? Excellent. And do we have we have a birch tea? Um yeah, let's go ahead and make another. Now we'll go ahead and use the rest of that fire. It'll there we go. Nom 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 nom. Top off Astrid's hunger. There we go. Oh, yeah, I am reminded by myself now that we're not mapping. We really don't have much of a need for charcoal anymore. So that's, I guess, 0.4 kilograms we uh, don't have to keep with us anymore. Although, again, it, there's, there's every chance the update will require us to have an about face on that position. Okay, there we go. Uh, we're only about three quarters tired, so call it nine hours? Yeah, about nine hours.
Okay, yeah, we are fully rested. Um, it is also very dark out there. Is that better? Yeah, yeah it's good enough. So pick that up. We are... Oh, we're only 0. 0.17 over. Well, that's easy. We'll just snack on a few cattails, and Astrid will be at climbing weight in no time. Nice. And the, um, how under we, we're not, we're, we're barely under. I was, I was going to pick up one of those pieces of coal, but then I thought better of it. Okay, so. Nap time done. We're gonna head out. Uh, we're gonna take those two climbs down to, I guess, down to the to the lake bed, and then we'll uh, we'll make our way out of the zone. Cause I th think, yeah, if if we take the two climbs that we took to get up here that'll put us near I th or not too far from the many falls vista hey dear now that will require another climb and a, and a fairly substantial one at that but if we make that happen then we're we're basically right where we want to be. And we just... We can make our way up and out of the zone without too much trouble. Now I say all that. But what do I spy with my little eye? Then a sapling left behind. Yep, that is a maple sapling right there, just staring me in the face, taunting me. So, how could you leave me? And if that is a good question. How could I leave you? And that's another... That is another dead wolf. Wow. Something in this neighborhood is absolutely wrecking the local wolves. Uh, oh yeah, does no, someone walk in? No worries. Uh, yeah, we're um, yeah. I was just asking you what you were uh, what you were up uh, playing these days. Um, if you if you've been laying off the long dark, because I can remember if you were if you're a console player or a or a, a PC player. Because if you're a console player, I can definitely understand laying off. You play mostly Fortnite. Okay. How are you liking that? I it is not something I've ever gotten into, but obviously it is quite popular. Okay, we are about a quarter quarter of a kilo over. I take first things first. Do we do we take a coffee? Actually, you know what? Sure. We have coffee to spare. We just need point one six. Drop a. Right. And away we go. Hey, 
and thanks to this being a downward climb, uh, Astrid is going to be much less wrecked <laughs> than she was going up. Oh, uh, you're a PC player? You've, lo you've uh, loved it. You've been playing since Chapter 1, Season 4. They're on Chapter 4, Season 2. Interesting. They have chapters and seasons. I did not know that. Um, oh, wow. So, so the, the tree's popping into view. There's a... <laughs> See the, it's like a pop-up book. They're just zooming up into view. Okay. No, I, I, am, I am far too easily amused. <clears throat> Anyway, yes, serious stream, serious game. <laughs> but no, they, um, yeah. So how do they? Uh, how does Fortnite make chapters and seasons work? They're like, is that I am? Like, do they have? Um, do they have like things that rotate in and out of the game, or is it like a story chapters? I, I'm curious. I, I am. I know next to nothing about Fortnite, other than, like, I know it's the game where you run around and shoot and build, but apparently, like, building is no longer a thing, question mark? Now, you, you can tell how closely I pay, I, I pay attention to that. Uh, you're doing a, you're doing a TLD challenge, you just don't stream it anymore. Ah, okay. Oh, it's a story that changes every season. Interesting. Okay. Actually, that, that's yeah. That it is. That's a, that's a neat approach. I think that, that would keep things fresh. I would imagine. Oh, hello, Moosen. You were not there when we came through yesterday. Um. I would like to stay well clear of you, but just in case, make sure the old flare gun is loaded. Uh, there is still building, but they also added zero build. Okay. You get a burp? Okay, no worries. Yeah, not much exciting is going to happen while I just do very carefully sneak around this moose. Oh, wait. I know this moose. <laughs> On one of my early attempts at the Dark Walker Challenge, uh, when I was trying to find the climb to get out of this zone, um, I went too I you know, went too far the wrong way, and I found that moose, and it uh, had its way with me. And as you might imagine, getting moose stomped is. Uh, Highly deleterious to your attempts to get out of uh, HRV. <laughs> okay, here we go. Yeah, put that away, Astrid. We're the moose is not going to come up the rope. I'm fairly sure. And you know what? If the moose can go up the rope. You just you just tip your hat and take your stop. <laughs> yeah, we do need to take this ledge. And we do need to be careful about this because our we're just about to go over our hearing capacity thanks to fatigue. So see if we can do a little something about that. We'll knock back some more coffee, see if that helps. And it does. How's our sprint meter? Looking good. Okay. Part two, the climbing. Let's go, Astrid. You got this. Hey, well done, Astrid. I knew you had it in you. Uh. 
Yes, yes, I know. I'm asking so much of you. Although, in truth, I really am. You know, ask, asking her to, you know, make multiple climbs in short succession with 45 kilograms worth of stuff on her back. The fact she can do it at all is quite impressive. <laughs> God knows few of us who are asking her to do it could do, do the same thing. Okay, there is a wolf there, right there. And actually, I would really prefer not to get in a tussle, because Ash is really not in any kind of shape to do that. Fighting a wolf while tired does not go well. Oh, dear. And there's a bear right there. That's... jeez. Well, this neighborhood got dangerous all of a sudden. Although said bear does not... did not seem to notice the little... our little episode of Shooty Bang Bang, so... We'll count that as a minor blessing. Could you level out, please, ground? Thank you. Is the game going to let me up here? I don't think it is. It's going to be very rude. Yep, well, bother. Okay. And speaking of the bear, there's this little, it's a little nook. But it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Everything is fine. Because we're here, and the bear's there. And as long as that remains the case, I am happy to live and let live. Which <laughs> so that might sound weird, given the sheer amount of wanton destruction we have visited upon the residents of Great Bear in the past 230 whatever days. But it's the truth. I mean, just check the stats. Okay, yes, 263 wolf kills, but, you know, eight bears, four moose, three deer, six bun buns, you know. You, you can tell who has chosen violence in this relationship, and it is not Astrid. Yes, please do not stop here. Thank you. And the, just the the sheer amount of wolf encounters and attacks and kills. I wonder how that's going to translate to interlope. Because the number of wolves will go down. The danger from the wolves that are there will go up, of course. But just the, the comparative absence, I don't know if it'll, it'll feel weird at first, I'm sure. And also the, the, uh, the apparent... I say apparent lack of firearms, because there are people 
now who are finding revolvers on Loper. Now I don't know if that if that is supposed to be a thing or if it's uh, a bug that will be patched out at some point. Um, but it, it feels most likely to me that going to uh, going to Loper, there won't there just in general won't be firearms available. So I'm going to the uh, <laughs> I'm going to have to fall back more on well initially the the torch trick, you know, whip out the torch or the flare, aim the rock, and then just move on with your life. But, or, and eventually, the bow. Um, now, we, then there, we will have a fire hardened arrows, I think, starting, well, later today. Uh, we'll have the option for that. So, you can at least shoot small game, being rabbits to start, and the ptarmigans whenever they add them to the game. Um, it won't it won't hurt anything bigger than a rabbit more than likely although if, if it can annoy it enough to leave us alone you know that would be that'd be okay as well Actually, yeah, yeah we're, we're we have lantern fuel waiting for us at great mothers so this is fine But yeah, I, there. I just, I, I. It seems to me like there, there will be some habits picked up during Stalker that I'm going to have to unlearn quickly, or my attempts at Loper runs are going to end quickly. I probably already moved these not that long ago, but what the heck, we'll just move them again. And I know I keep talking about this moving to Loper. Um, it's, it's the sort of thing you should just shut up about and actually do at some point. And in all honesty, we will. You know, I am not one of these people who wants to play every game on the hardest level, uh, but I do. I do want to challenge myself, just to, if nothing else, just to see for myself what it's like. Because thus far, my experience with Loper is um, doing. Excuse me. Basically, uh, yeah, uh, starting a run, well, actually starting multiple runs, but then doing it enough to get the achievement to surviving one day on Loper, and then stopping. <laughs> hey, buddy. And I've seen other people make that progression, like, uh, you know, like the Hobbits, um, Koro and Thistle, D.H. Dunn, Killer Tuna, and Very Tiny Burb. Um, you know, they've gone from being mostly Voyager players to not only starting Loper runs, but also making consistently good progress on those runs. And also, uh, uh, Shenomenon. Someone else I saw who started... When I found her, she was playing Stalker regularly, and now she does Loper runs on on the reg, as I believe the young people say. And she does well. Oh, nice. Are these cooked? These are cooked. Excellent. 
I'm going to just help myself to one of those, if you don't mind. Okay, no, as you finish the whole thing. Lovely. I do very much appreciate it when Astrid finishes her food. Because we don't we do not waste food in this household. Let me pop in here real quick. Because I know Uh my wish we did leave a pry bar, a bunch of hides, and some saplings. Did I leave arrowheads? I did. Wait, no. We did not. Well, bother. Later, let's not carry that around. Okay, um. Okay, tell you what we'll do. Well, no, we have we have we have uh, birch saplings sitting back at the. Uh, but oh my goodness, that is a cattail stash. I actually just we'll top up our collection, but we'll leave those there. Um, yeah, we'll take a cured maple sapling. We'll drop the green maple sapling. And we'll be sap uh, maple sapling neutral. Woohoo! Um, yeah, okay, we'll take the, ma the cured maple sapling over to Grey Mothers. But, yeah, it's... What I need to do is find... Because I know I had a bunch of arrowheads. I just... <laughs> Need to find where I left them. I'm not sure I'm carrying much more. I guess. Uh, let's see. Mountain Town HRV trailer. Okay, yeah, that's all fine. Yeah, in truth, we've basically cracked open everything we can crack open with the pry bar, as far as I know. So we don't really need to keep lugging it around. It's just... I, I it, it feels like that's something that we should just have on us, but again, it's a, it's a full kilogram. And what does it really do for us? Because it's not good in a wolf struggle. I mean, better than nothing, but only just. Um, well, I guess, okay. One possible exception is when the update drops, the uh, prepper caches... The, the yet yeah, the the bunkers are going to come back and there will odds are there will be stuff to open there but even then uh, what what are the what are the dev diaries say there's going to be nine prepper caches in the world and they say they said uh, scattered in suitably remote locations and of those nine, only three are going to be loot rich. The other six uh, will be uh, fairly empty, if not completely empty. And I also, uh, so. If the uh, if if the prepper caches are like the one up by the transition from Pleasant Valley to Timberwolf Mountain, uh, 
odds are good there will be lockers to pry open. So that would be a use for a pry bar. And I guess if worse comes to worse, or worse comes to worse, you can use the pry bar to, I guess, clear a fishing hole. But there's not really a great case for carrying around a pry bar, though, is it? You know, fishing hole, potential lockers. And, you know, desperate wolf defense. Seems like there's better things you can use for, other than prying open lockers, there's better, better options for all of those. And, like, unlike, I think pretty much every other, no, yeah, every other tool, you can't repair it. Because you can, you, you can use the whetstone to sharpen up your knife and your hatchet. And you can use scrap metal and a toolkit to shape up your hacksaw. But once your pry bar is busted, it's just busted. Yeah, so I guess given all that, we might just take that pry bar we found and just leave it at Grey Mother's. So, if at some point we find we need it, we know where to go get it. Yeah, I am just not in the mood. Okay, so we're back to Mountain Town. Milton slash Mountain Town slash Milton. So we'll pop into Grey Mother's. We'll drop off some stuff. And we'll check for arrowheads, because I don't think we found, or I don't think we left any at uh, the farm, down where the, where the workbench is. Which is unfortunate, because that's where they probably should be, if they're going to be anywhere in this zone. Okay, birch, 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 maple. Oh, well, there's. Was there already a maple? No. All right. Well, there's one now, so that's fine. No worries there. Yeah, we have a silly amount of crow feathers. Hmm. No arrowheads, though. So we just, we've got nine, ten. We have ten arrows plus one, one arrow that we can make. I'll go and pop that over there. I didn't leave the arrowheads in the fridge, did I? There's actually a pretty decent chance I did, but let's check. Yeah, the freezer is just water. Uh, answer is, oh, there's another pry bar. Uh, and no, no arrowheads. Well, shucks. Well, 
Well, that stinks. Okay, well. What we can do, it's obviously not going to happen today, because Astrid is entirely too beat. Let's see, we'll drop the spare toque. Um, and the sweater? Yeah, sure. I forgot we were carrying that around. The t-shirt is beyond hope, so we'll go ahead and turn that into cloth. There we go. Okay, so we do have one arrowhead on us, and I know we left one arrow shaft back at the farm. So what we can do... We'll take three feathers with us so we can just craft it up real quick. We don't have to go hunting for those. We have a cleaning kit. We have ample amount of flares. We have those. We have that. Um, could take a little lamp oil with us. Okay. Uh, those are all fine. That's all fine. We got a backup revolver if, but if by some odd coincidence we end up needing it. Of course, I think we have one up in the trailer by HRV too, so we're we're good on those for some reason. Okay, we'll take those. Are there anything else of dubious quality? Not necessarily. Although, we'll take one, uh, not just any grape soda. No. We'll leave a bandage just in case of emergencies. I'm not... The, okay, the painkiller's fine. Um, and we got... We have uh, fire starting mats aplenty. Uh, yeah, that'll do. Cool. Okay. Let's see, any other clothing repair might need doing? Um, we could use... Yeah, that takes leather as well, though, and we're, we're much less good on leather. Yeah, let's hold off on that. I don't like that Astrid is this tired this early. It feels like a waste of a day. Although, you know, getting out of you know, getting out of HRV is certainly no no waste of time as far as I'm concerned. I am too tired to think straight. Well here, let's just see if we can do something about that. Okay, now is that enough to where we can, say, head down to the farm? I think so. So what condition is our bow? 78%. That's, that's okay. And we have saplings and guts waiting for us in Mystery Lake if we need to. So that's probably fine. So, Barnward Ho. It 
And last time we we uh, made an arrow in the uh, at the workbench there, it got cold in the middle of it. So we're gonna we might start a fire to warm up, depending on how the climate decides to uh, interact with us. Yeah, that'll that'll chew a little bit more time and then we'll sleep in the farmhouse and then in the morning we'll head yeah in the morning we'll head to uh, we'll take the climb down and then we'll go to mystery lake and then we'll start our work towards what I've what I have taken to calling the indoor kid achievement <laughs> um as I said, it feels weird that we haven't got that yet, considering just how much territory we've covered and how much time we've spent in Coastal and Mystery Lake. No, I was going to cut across, but then I remembered that, you know, certain, certain furry woodland friends like to hide on the other side of blind hills and uh, introduce themselves with great vigor. Although, counterpoint to myself, um, we actually haven't been gone that long and we did actually kind of kill the wolves who like to hang out around here. So, maybe that won't actually be an issue. And the fact that we've been here this long and we haven't heard a single bork uh, says probably a good sign. Now, there should be a arrow shaft in here. Actually, several. But one is all we need. So we'll take our one arrow shaft, our one arrowhead, and our crow feathers and make ourselves a nice, fresh arrow. Just in time for spooky music to kick in. Thank you, game. You really know how to set an atmosphere. Hey, buddies. Yep, and there is, there are all the, there's all the, the evidence that we were here recently. We got the little cookout with the Handy dandy six burner stove. Some some wolf, some deer, some guts. Um, no saplings. I, I should probably. Well, first thing we should do is reload. Uh, and then we'll check the journal. Farmhouse. Uh, actually, no. We've actually made it more accurate. <laughs> Wolf, deer, guts. And we use a narrow shaft. Now we have two. And we also have ten pristine arrow shafts. And one that is uh, shaky. Have a quick pre pre bedtime wolf stick, you know, as as one does when in Canada. Alrighty, wash that right down. Okay, and then, yeah, I'd say we are 
and we were at climbing weight as well. Gotta go ahead and sleep for a solid 10 hours. Hey, don't. Uh, you're done for the week. Work has kicked you in the nuts a time too many. Oh, no. Do I dare ask what happened, Daunt? That sounds rough. I'm good to see you. I, I appreciate you coming by, but... Uh, are you done for the week in the temporal sense, or done for the week in, like, I, I cannot even sense? Also, I mean... See if it behaves this time. And it does. Nice. The report came back again. Oh, no! Oh, good grief. That is absolutely silly. My goodness. You cannot even. You have one more day to get through. I have. Oh, jeez. I'm sorry to hear that. That is... It's ridiculous. Um, okay, I don't... You don't need to go into details if you don't want to, because you probably had enough of it as it is, but if you're okay with sharing, what happened? I mean, you, you've been... You said you've been wrestling with this stupid thing for quite some time now. I am... I am puzzled as to how this could still be an issue for you uh, going by going off of your description. Okay, I want to make sure the sun is fully up. So yeah, we'll take an hour there. Probably not going to let us here. We'll s There we go. He also replied to someone else's IT ticket to ask for more info. They found you, DM'd you to ask how they reply to the ticket. Where have the brain cells gone? Well, I don't know. Were they, were they there in the first place? I mean, that that might be the question to ask. That is uh, that is a uh, yikers, if I if I do say so myself. Okay, yeah, that looks like climbing weather. Also, forgive me for just a second. Because in addition to climbing weather, this is very much screenshot weather. Ah, uh, see, they came back asking for yet one more column of data to be added. They also wanted an edited version of the report with only some of the data included. Apparently, they can't just extrapolate whatever data they need. Um, that sounds entirely too complicated, if I, if I, if I may say so from my uh, complete layman's uh, point of view. Uh, it, yeah, that does seem like unusually, like, honestly, unusually. I don't, I don't know the way. Usually, that seems awfully finicky. And the person asking kept apologizing, which just makes you more angry. Oh no. Um, well, if. I mean, if, if they really were sorry, they'd, they'd stop doing the thing. You know, right? Because it's, it's not the, the social... The, it's not the, you know, the social contract kind of apologizing that you feel obligated to do. If you, if, you, if you actually felt sorry about the thing you're doing, you wouldn't do the thing.
Okay. Yeah, going off of you know, in you know, in in the spirit of you know, not seeing any wolves over there. Because remember, when we initially came into the zone, we did also uh, deal with a few of the wolves in this neighborhood, so we might be able to get through this without issue, but we'll see. That's funny. I just saw movement out of the corner of my eye. I thought, yep, that's a wolf. Nope, that is not a wolf. That is a bun bun. Probably because it was someone higher up than her making the changes. Oh, and she was just the one having to get the info. Oh, okay, so she was, uh... Here's the go-between. What? Where? You? There's two of them. Okay, well... Obviously not the case. You know, I'm just going to keep moving. I really don't care to deal with this. I have better things to do. Okay, I, so I can I can understand why she would have been apologizing then, because that is uh, she kind of got pushed into that. Nah, no, just leave it. Just leave it. A pretty high paid gopher, but still, yep, yeah, not precisely her being awkward. Okay, I yeah, for that I'm willing to cut people more slack because they. If, if the jackassery is coming from on high, but they make someone else go actually interact with other human beings. It's, it's not like it's the kind of at the kind of the, the kind of setting where you can say, you know, screw you, you know, do, you know, do your own. You do. Yeah, it's. Uh, actually have to follow the chain of command. So, although it, it does, it does not absolve her of, like, when you, I mean, I, 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 I presume you, you said, okay, you, you can stop apologizing, and then she kept apologizing. Because, you know, extend grace to people who are doing things beyond, you know, who are, affected by forces beyond their control but you know that that grace has its limits I'll take it I will not in fact take it although I will move it up to a prominent place um yeah no okay good definitely more annoyed at the whole situation not her per se sure that makes sense We're actually fine. I'm going to grab that stick because I can. Is the update out later today? Yes, it is. I don't know when exactly. I've only heard a day and not a time. Um, but that's that's not anything unusual for Hinterland. So now, I, okay, if it if it drops around the same time that uh, part one of the update did um it'll probably be how what was it yeah it was like 2 a.m my time so two three four hours from now if that's the case so yeah yes like 2 a.m my time would be 2 1 noon 11 a.m pacific time which i believe is what hinterland is on out there in vancouver Because I would imagine, especially given how uh, how the first part of the update went, they will want to release it with enough time in the day to where they can they can catch on release bugs and other issues. Because no, 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 bun bun, no bun bun, you're not coming for me. No, you're gonna deal with this yourself. I, I will not be kited. Uh, Will! Hey, Will. Good to see you. And thank you so much for those Bezos bucks. I appreciate that. 
a scandal, an outrage, a dilemma of... No, 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 no. You you just enjoy your bun bun. Uh, how we live, how we survive, how we continue. Oh, it's absurd. Oh, hi. Hi. Coming in hot there, Will. Hope you're doing okay. Hope you're feeling better. Um, I don't know the... I don't know, I don't know the standard course of norovirus, but I, I hope it's it's at least eased for you. Okay, yeah, we are just fine. Um, you're feeling better stomach-wise? Good. But now your back is in agony. Not good. If it's not one thing, it's another. Yes. Oh, that stinks. That's just... Yeah, the, the least your body could do is just, is just pick a thing to be wrong, rather than keeping you guessing. You know, it's, your body doesn't need to keep you on your toes. It's like your the toes are part of your body. It just kind of comes with the territory. I am doing okay. Um, it has been a week since the interview, and I have not heard back from the people. So naturally, my jerk brain is absolutely tearing me apart while trying to go over all the things we allegedly did wrong and talked ourselves out of a job, which is almost certainly not the case. <laughs> yeah. I'd... In weaker moments, I, 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 I listen to it, although I don't necessarily heed it, but yeah, I, yeah I'm, I'm with you, Will. No news is more than likely good news. And I, I am, I have progressed to the point where, if for whatever reason they say no, I say to hell with it. They're loss. You know, I got, I am in an okay position here, and you know we'll, we'll just keep on keeping on. You think the norovirus upset your back? Hmm. That. Okay, I, I am I am not a doctor, and neither do I play one on the internet, so I, I don't know if that can happen. It's okay to this too shall pass. Yeah. You will you will get fully patched up at some point, I'm sure. You know, this twenty twenty three can only go up from here. Throwing up not a great position for the back? You are not wrong. That is uh You know, when when they designed the porcelain throne, it was mostly it was mostly with the expectation that people will be approaching it, you know, from an entirely different angle. Okay, I want to see: can we, in fact, navigate this cave without a light source? I feel like we can, at least if it's daylight, but I don't know for sure. So we're gonna do we're gonna do a wee bit of sciencing here. Oh, hey there, piece of coal. Actually, I'm just gonna grab you. How about that? How do you like that? No, just that just looks like a uh, a crate of something.
Okay, um... Is that... Hey, there we go! Actually got through the entire cave without needing a light source, because... Partly because we have so, so many sun... So many uh, little, little sunroofs there, and also because it's you know it's the middle of the day. Uh, I wonder if you get your Ray Bans today. Did you not get them when you got the award, or is there like is there like a, supposed to be a ceremony of some sort? There's multiple deer over there. Okay. Oh, they mail them to you. Oh, okay. Strange, but all right. Okay, now here's the thing. Now that we're back in Mystery Lake, I want to do the thing. We're just going to go bit by bit. We're going to enter every building where you have to zone in. Um, plus the, uh, plus the, uh, the watchtower. just to see if we can get this dang achievement. Because there's only three of them continue to elude me. And being the completionist I am, that cannot be allowed to stand. Zip. Okay. I don't think we left anything of note here at Trappers, but we can at least check. I uh, work for a very large bank in the U.S. Uh, they have to mail everything as there's no personal touch. Oh, from HQ. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, if yeah, it's okay. So if it's a if it's a big big firm and it's not based where you are, okay, that makes sense. Uh, yes, no, no, no. Okay. All right, so where is the next um, interior location? Uh, oh, 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 right. Ooh, that could be it. Okay, I, I, I remember. Uh, so we go to the pond whose name no one can remember. Uh, but if you keep going, I think this way, uh, north ish. Not sure. Um, yeah, if we keep going this direction past the pond, I think there is another cabin that we might not have visited. Don't know for sure, but we're gonna, you know, that we're gonna check and find out. Oh yeah, and then also while we're here in the neighborhood, uh, we will we will want to wander back towards the dam and see if we left any arrowheads there. Cause I want to make up some more arrows. That another that's another sapling. How? And I thought I was good about picking up saplings. Obviously, I was not. Anyway. Um, yeah, I want to make up some arrows. Because uh, when the when the update drops, um, what's going to happen is that um, basically the, the, the thing they're adding to the game, and I think it's I think it's just DLC, but um, the thing they're going to add, uh, it basically has to, it functions off of auroras, so we're going to have to be outdoors during auroras. Um, something I generally try to avoid 
what with the supercharged wolves and bears just roaming about the countryside. But um, said thing is only going to function at those times. And apparently there is some really sweet loot that we'll be able to get off of it. Including one thing that will only be available once you have completed the, I guess we could call it a side quest that comes with, um, it, it comes with the whole, the tail. Once again, the bears scaring off the wolves, circle of life, etc. Um, but yeah. It's weird. They're, they're basically taking a side quest, the kind of thing you would normally do in story mode, and they're adding it to the uh, sandbox survival mode, which is pretty intriguing. I don't, I, I'm, I'm eager to see how they work that kind of lore into uh, what goes on in what is basically a an open world kind of. I don't want to say story list because you can very easily write your own stories. Um, but yeah, there's not a uh, not a lot happening story-wise, at least here. Now in uh, in the new zone in the airfield, um, you know they they don't have memento caches or anything like that set up yet, but they do have some very uh, some very entertaining lore that is added. Something about, uh, you know, nefarious dealings. Oh, unsearched corpse. We could have one here. Oh, uh, yeah, that's uh, nefarious dealings and uh, people being told to look the other way. And then <laughs> with, uh, you know, shenanigans taking place at an airfield way away from anyone who might be paying attention. So... That could be neat. Let's see. Um, oh, new location. Okay, so we have not, in fact, been in here. Um, hmm. Okay. Okay. Astrid, that's awesome. Um, so, yeah, we, so we are here, uh, but no... No achievement pop-up. So there is apparently at least one more interior location that we need to find. Annoying, but you know what? Exploration is why we're here. Uh, you're the one by Project Zomboy. You've been watching a streamer called Drongo. But oh yeah, Bloody Drongo. Yeah, I, I he is a uh, he's in my follows as well. He yeah, he, solid dude. Um. I, I have Project Zomboid. I've only played it a little bit, but yeah, it is it's neat. Um, it is a slight, the slightly more intellectual approach to the uh, the whole zombie survival genre. I'll, I will say, um, it is an isometric view, which if you're not used to that, it does take some getting used to. Uh, but once you do, um, and I imagine you know that you've, you've been watching people play it. Um, but yeah, there's, there's lots of fun stuff. And then, uh, it's a very moddable game as well. Okay. So what other, cause we've been, we've been to the, yeah, that's the, that's the busted lookout. The actual lookout is off that away. Hmm. I guess we could check like the uh, the logging camp and then make sure make sure we've entered all of those. Although I don't know why we would have skipped them. Uh, you couldn't play that dot. You just, you just don't think it looks very good or interesting. Yeah. Okay, yeah, that, that's fine. You know, it's, it's not... Every game doesn't need to be to everyone's taste. Uh, 
Although I, I will say, Will, um, if you are if you do like the look of Zomboid, um, check. There's there's a few people on YouTube that might you might want to check out, especially if, like, for like uh, starter videos. I'll look up Private Lime and Nurse. I think or, or I think she, her handle might be like Nurse V O. Um, they're both big on Project Zomboid, um, and they also have like videos for, for people who are just getting started. I think ambiguous and amphi am amphi ambiguous amphibian is also a someone who's fun to watch. Although he he doesn't do nearly as much Zomboid as he used to do, but some of his older series are fun to watch. In particular, like the. Uh, uh, the, the zero to hero one, where he starts with starts with someone with basically starts with the worst possible character. What the? Oh, for you know what? No, I'm not doing this. You can just go away. I have three. Well, the, okay, the now, since that one is aggroed on me. Nope, they're going to trade off. <sighs> Be gone, fiend. I would prefer all the fiends to be gone, but unfortunately, it doesn't seem like they're going to they're going to uh, heed Wayne June's admonition. So, we're just going to have to keep moving. Uh, you also look at pre-ordering Crime Boss. Um, I think I've seen ads for that one. Is that the one that has, like, Danny Glover and Vanilla Ice in it? It looked... strange. I'm not sure how else to describe my reaction to it. I jump on a call? Okay, no worries. I say, did it peace out? No, it did not. I guess it gave up remarkably easily, but it did it did not, in fact, give up remarkably easily. But yeah, that the, what was it crime crime boss? It um. That does seem like the kind of game that's going to get a big marketing blitz here at some point. If it hasn't already. I think I only saw, like, a few mentions of it. I think, like, so someone on Twitch, it might have been iOS, but they, they, played a, uh, they played the trailer for it. Which is the reason I know Danny Glover and um, Vanilla Ice are in it. It's good to see old Rob Van Winkle getting some work. Uh, for Project Zone, what don't take your your opinions on it? You play Siege, you have no idea what a good game is. I think you have a decent idea what a good game is, Don. It's just, it's just what a a game that works for you. And not yet, Zomboid is not for. I've seen people who have an absolute blast playing Seven Days to Die, which is kind of like Minecraft for adults. It's like, it's like more crafting and building. And lots of lots of blood and guts as well, but they absolutely could not stand Project Zomboid. So it's just it very much depends on the player. Okay, we're to the logging camp. I am almost certain we've gone in all these, but we're we're here to make absolutely sure and to make sure this this annoying so and so goes away. And yes, we have in fact been here. That's fine. Do a quick check. Um, ooh. I mean, I said, yeah, we could use the leather. Firewood, no, no. Just do a quick sweep of the joint. We don't. I think the style of Project Zomboid that was a hurdle for some people. Yeah, I've, I've definitely heard that. Um, the
yeah, like the the movements, the the way the, way the characters move, the view, um, and also like the uh, it's it's not a particularly forgiving game. I mean, I mean, you can you can set the difficulty level, like you, you can actually make it to where um, there is actually no uh, you can have no like zombie infection and only have to deal with the survival aspects. You can even set it to where there's no zombies if you want to, and just to focus on learning the game and how to survive. Um, but it's <laughs> it's all it kind of defeats the purpose of playing Project Zomboid if there are no actual zomboids. But that is a that is a legitimate way to go about it. So. I, One thing I've heard people do, because like if people who want to learn Stellaris, which is like it's a typical paradox, you know, grand strategy game, a whole lot of moving parts. Um, what they'll do is they'll just they'll load up a game and they'll just play with uh, no enemy AIs. It'll just be them, and they they figure out how to explore. How to manage an economy, and you know that works. You can get a pretty decent handle on the game. And basically, everything except warfare, which will come with time, obviously. It's good to have options if you don't like the idea of no zombies and don't use the option. Yeah, and there's no nothing wrong with more options. It's a, it's like these chuckleheads who bitch and moan about uh, accessibility and like, oh my souls game why would why would you need an accessibility mode for souls game it's supposed to be hard just get good scrub get fucked you know people people with mobility issues or, or people who just why why would you make your game less accessible to people you want if you love the game why wouldn't you want more people playing it unless the pe unless the reason you like the game is because you feel special for being good at it in which case that's a you issue you know that's you being empty inside it's got nothing to do with the game like rimworld on peaceful mode Learn how to grow the colony trade, do quest carry fans. Yeah. And if if that offends your organ harvesting sensibilities, then don't play with peaceful mode on. You know, it, it's no skin off of your nose to give other people a chance to play a game and enjoy it. There is an option in Spiderman to turn off the puzzles and then your kid could play it because you hated those puzzles just want to swing around. Yeah! And that's great. More people get to play. It also means more sales for the people making the games because, because we have to capitalism here, right? It's, it's win, it's, you know, win all around. For everyone except the people who derive their personality from being good at video at a video game that other people find hard. And frankly, I just don't have time for those people. Okay, so that cabin was new, but uh, it was not the thing we were that was holding us back. Apparently, from the Chivo. So, we're gonna wander down the tracks. We're gonna. I know we've been in the two cabins up here and the and the the pickup as well, but we're gonna check. Oh yes, and re just reminder to myself. We're also gonna check and see if we left any arrowheads in the dam. Oh yeah, and actually, and Daunt, Daunt's, uh reminds me. Um, 
one other game that I found is super cool. Uh, what I, I was, it's I was a teenage exo colonist. It's another kind of life sim. Uh, and a, it's like a it's, like, it's part life sim that in there's the story. Um, and what it's really cool because it actually it not only expects you to save scum, but it actually encourages you to do so. Uh, cause there, there's some, there's some time loop slash alternate reality kind of action going on. Um, but uh, one of the main gameplay mechanics there is a, there's a little, a little card game, but you actually have the options in, yeah, the option in the set is just turn off the card game and focus exclusively on story. And that's awesome. I love that. Oh, get absolutely fucked. Uh, you saw a TikTok of a dude who played The Last of Us and was blind. Wow. The accessibility options were so good he could play through it. That is really impressive, actually. I mean, no, no shade on Naughty Dog in the game, but that's like just the ability to play The Last of Us blind in general is just remarkable to me. It would use voice commands to tell him where enemies were and objectives. Yeah, that is... That's great. And... It at absolutely, I would wager, no negative effect. No negative effect on the game or sales or, you know, and non-blind people weren't forced to play that way. Yeah, absolutely. Well, hats off to Naughty Dog for having accessibility that good that someone can play the game you know without being you know without being sighted and still do well and have a great time uh the port is rubbish but that's a great issue oh yeah i've 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 heard people talking about the port apparently the the loading times are absolutely diabolical which is unfortunate but Hopefully they they can and or will fix that. Okay. Okay. Um, it is getting late. Let's pop into the dam. Let's see if we can find our arrowheads. Hopefully they share that with other companies. They start doing the same. Yeah, absolutely. I, I, I would. Oh yeah, I mean, my knee-jerk reaction is I don't see any reason why they wouldn't. But then again, I can think I, I actually can, mostly like cost, time, the needs. Yeah, money. Just the needs of non-traditional gamers not even occurring to people in charge of studios you, you see all the tiktoks of it loading in shaders for ages and then getting in game and the whole thing is jank yeah that's unfortunate i i have put it on my on like my steam wish list um hopefully do we okay yeah we were yeah, drop that Update the mystery lake. Do I not have a single damn entry? Oh dear. Okay. All right. We'll just have to work with that. But yeah, I my hope is that they'll they'll get to work on the. Hey, there we go. That's what we're looking for. That's three. So. Take nine of those. Okay, yeah, we have a lot of a lot of everything. <laughs> oh yeah. Grab that. Do. 
but yeah, um, I added it to my Steam wish list uh, in the hope that it will get sorted, and then we can we'll have a oh hey look there's six extra arrows right there, and more ammo and a couple pry bars. Okay, uh, okay. Um, add it to every game you need it for puzzles sometimes. Hey, that it. I mean, ideally that would be the case because the and more feathers, but that's okay. We have we only have three arrowheads, which means we can make nine arrows. But yeah, I mean, there's ideally those those kind of accessibility options would be there for every game, so. If it, if anyone wanted to, it, whatever game someone wanted to play, they could. But obviously, we don't live in that world. And some studios just want to get get their game out ASAP, and then get the money rolling in. For some games it just won't work like Fall Guys. Okay, yeah, that's fair. There we go. But for linear story modes, it works great. Yep, 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 absolutely. Okay, while we're here. We're going to play our favorite game, Find the Magic Pixel that lets us put down our bedroll. There we go. And we are now out of water, which is something we very much need to... Actually, no, we don't. Well... I know we could just take those, but it would be good to make more regardless. You can see now the long dark. <laughs> Bear to your left, shoot or die. It's, I mean, that's one approach. I'll alternatively just, hey, there's a bear. Uh, run anywhere but this direction. Although, <laughs> heaven forfend that person is playing stalker. It's like, uh, there's wolves all around you. Um... Uh, Good luck. You just order your car flap installation, waiting on for the guy to come and measure the the oh the cat flap. Okay. On, oh yeah, I think you did mention that at some point. There, there was there was some installation that needed to happen. Yeah, you're host, but but thanks for playing, and you know, uh, better luck on your next run here in the long dark. <laughs> this I just this always this always makes me laugh. It's like thirty two calories. You're there's a hard limit at twenty five hundred calories. You couldn't, you could not possibly put down 32 calories more worth of, of moose meat. It's just, okay. Although even that is an improvement. In, like in the very, very early days of the build, you could put down like more than 3,000 calories in your stomach at once. Uh, Husbando can't do it. It's being oh, it means being installed at the patio door. Oh right, yeah, you did mention that. All right, we'll go ahead. We'll, we'll get the we'll make maximum use out of this, if at all possible.
I've got 47 minutes on it. Um, we can probably do another half liter. Drop any of this gear. I imagine you can, so let's see if we can give you a little hand with that. There we go. We even replace, uh, we'll leave it with more water than we found it. How about that? For being good custodians of the fire. Okay. Plate Albion. What is what is Albion? Because on like on the channels, I I I've the the Twitch ads I get are almost all Albion online, but the ads I see tell me absolutely nothing about it. And looks like an MMO. Yeah, if, if it's an M MMO, I feel aggressively uninterested to learn more. And I don't want to go full cynic, but it it does feel like um, basically if I see if I see something advertised on Twitch, I almost I feel like a, a, a motivation to ignore it as hard as possible. Because it's like. It's, you know, an MMO or some other big AAA title or it's some summer blockbuster movie or an energy drink or some other nonsense that I am just in which I am just completely uninterested. I have yet to see Twitch advertise something to me that is even remotely that remotely piques my interest. And yes, I I will fully admit to being kind of spiteful in that sense. Oh yeah, we were carrying around those uh, those trail boots we were thinking about turning into leather, but then we didn't, so we'll just we'll just leave them here. How about that? Uh, oh yeah, yeah. Dawn is all in on Rainbow Rainbow Six Siege, and that's good. I mean, it, not my kind of game, but I I like I like it when people find games that speak to them, and so I, I am fully on board with Dawn going full pew pew. Okay, um, let's see. We're at the dam. It is blizzarding out there, but that's not necessarily a bad thing. Uh, okay, tell you what we can do. We can... If the game... If the... Yeah, if the weather allows, we can just wander our way to the lake cabins. Find games that speak to them, like like Last of Us. Way. Oh no! Oh no! Dog, the dog, uh, blue chunks, and then then ate it. Again. Oh no! Jeez. I mean that's awful, but that's that is very much uh, very dog of them. Okay. Um. We have food, we have water, and by the looks of the re ate most of it. Oh, jeez. Oh, speak, speaking to them 
like we were discussing, discussing, discussing The Last of Us now. Uh, okay. Yeah, I mean... Uh, you know what? Screw it. We're going to go. What is it? Yeah, it's actually... Th you know, I say it's three down arrows, even with our handy-dandy gear. So it's a, it's a full-on proper blizzard. But you know what? I'm okay with that. Come on. There we go. That's Link for sure. Jax wouldn't need it. Okay. Jax's tummy has been kind to him as of late. Oh, no. Or was it Link who was sick? But yeah, yeah, I, I, I strong agree. Will boo to all of that. Yeah, really, there's no need necessarily for us to do this, but it's a rare opportunity for us to travel, being unmolested by wolves, and it'll just it'll you know grind that little bit more toward the Blizzard Walker feet. Because we're, I think we're about 75% of the way through that, and you need to spend the equivalent of like 25 days outdoors during blizzards. You got Ben back on Tuesday. His ashes are on the dresser. It's nice to have him home. Yeah, that's. It's a good reunion of sorts. I. I I don't know how I would react. I, I, I mean, and, that, and that's, but that's just, you know, m me and my brain. I, I don't know if I would react well to having that, having the reminder, but then again, it's like, you know, losing family and, and, and pets or family too. Yeah, then the losing, you know, the, 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 the pain of the loss is the tax we pay for the joy we had from having them in our lives in the first place. So... You don't need to think, Astrid. You just need to keep walking. Let, let me do the thinking for you. What? Seriously? How... How were you not loaded in previously? You should you should not be out and about. This is absolutely dumb. <sighs> anyway, we're just gonna keep moving. Your ADHD would store the memories and the grief if you didn't have a reminder. Okay. You have the next picture of your mom and dad. Okay. And Daunt is the opposite. You're a compartmentalizer. You just don't like the reminders after the fact you need to be away. Yeah, I, I think my brain works more like uh, what Daunt is describing, but I, I can completely see why Will, you know, why, why you would do it that way, Will. on the opposite side of the zone the blizzard had already started there's no reason for a wolf and especially for like just one wolf to be out it's very strange but long as long as we long as we just keep matriculating Astrid down the tracks here it'll be an annoyance at best And go zip. 
And we're going to mosey on down this way. We're going to go back to Camp HQ and let Azure warm up. I do like having this little, little electrical line here. It makes her a, a very handy, uh, very handy indicator where it is we're supposed to go. There we go. Will used to be like that, trying to be better about processing your emotions. We did not act out like he used to do. That makes sense. You know, you know, everyone's brain is different, and okay, I have to keep reminding myself that 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 bow is a no-go. Trying to be a better human, yeah, that makes perfect sense. And you 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 know best how your brain works, and you know what it takes to keep you going in a in a happy, healthy fashion. And everyone's physiology is different, and everyone's everyone's brain is squishy in different ways. So everyone just got to find the find the stuff and the approaches that work for them. Probably no real reason to do that. I just just kind of felt like it. Okay, yeah, that'll that'll take care of itself. How? Okay, we're barely heavy. It's fine. Um, yeah, we'll just quick naparino. There we go. Lovely. Now, with that done, I I can't imagine we missed any of the fishing cabins. It would be it would be quite the oversight. But like it, we're you know we're here to investigate. Um, that's still a Blizzard game. I don't I don't know if y'all noticed. Or is it? Maybe? Or maybe not. It's actually plus seven. Okay, maybe the... Uh, okay. Yeah, the, the blizzard has decided to quit. And the wolves are immediately out on the ice. Well... Beans. Okay, so here's what we're going to try to do. I mean, I guess we, we can pop in to... Although, do the fishing cabins count? I can't imagine they would. The way I understand the achievement is you need to be everywhere that requires you to zone in. Like, um, you know, li like we did going in and out of the of the camp office though there it, where it has a loading screen because the the uh, like the fishing cuts here you just walk in and out um, with the, without any loading so I don't it I feel like that's not that's not in keeping with the uh, the challenge but I guess we'll see. Um, yeah, so we'll hit the fishing cabins. The war car, we'll hit that one, that one, and that one, and then that one. And then we'll go to the one down by where the bear lives. Uh, any plans for the weekend? Um, let's see. 
other than reveling in the long dark update, um, I need, yeah, the Saturday will be full of errands because unfortunately this is another one day weekend for me. Um, we have lost one of, we, we have lost one person in our section and because our section was only seven people to begin with, um, that shortens our rotation quite a bit. So I need to work Sunday. So on Saturday, I'm going to need to go grocery shopping, going to need to hit the bank, uh, basically do all my adulting for the week. <laughs> yep, yeah, we have been in here. That's fine. But I'll try to have some, I try to enjoy myself over the weekend as well. But yeah, gotta work Sunday and then I, I get Wednesday off in exchange. Wednesday's not the most happening day. <laughs> That's fine. Um, You don't hold the emotions in, you just don't see the point in things when death is involved. You grieve, it's done. Don't need to keep revisiting it. Sure, sure. Just to you and your experiences. Your sister is different and is definitely a talking point when it comes to your parents' choices for when they go. Yeah, no, it's... No, there's no need to apologize for any of that, Daunt. You, uh... Okay, those we can definitely tear up. Um, I would say we... All of us in all of us here are... Roughly contemporary in age, I think. And, you know, those are... Unfortunately, those are conversations we need to have because that is, you know, we're, <laughs> I know if there's that feeling that, like, you know, why, why do I need to deal with, where, where are the grownups? They're, we're, they're the ones who are supposed to be handling this. And then you get that uncomfortable realization that, oh shit, I am one of the grownups. Oh no, what happened? But no, I, I think that's something we're all I, we that's, we have all either dealt with or will deal with. So you know, definitely it, it is definitely nothing for which you need to apologize because it's it's something that, that's going to touch us all eventually if it hasn't already. You used to work Saturday and Sunday every week. I uh, never bothered. Until you realize you had a, having a weekend off and then realize how much happened on weekends. Oh, yeah. Oh, 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 yeah. So when the kiddo was a baby because it saved you on child care, she could stay home with the dad. Yeah, I, I can see how it would be convenient. But no, I, I I know that feeling because I, I spent years and years as a sports writer. And obviously sports happen on weekends, predominantly. So... Working, you know, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday was the busy time for me. And so my regular days off would be like Monday, Tuesday or Tuesday, Wednesday or some such. And, you know, it didn't didn't exactly make for a happening uh, social calendar, shall we say. And especially when you're used to not only doing that, that working those days, but... Um, doing so from like a 3 p.m. to 1 a.m. shift. So that's, uh, you kind of, and especially doing what I did, you know, because, uh, the end of the workday was the most stressful part, because obviously that, that's when deadline is. So, you know, you... You get done with work, it's like 1 a.m., and you're like, well, hell, now what do I do? I, You're still jazzed up from from all the work. The bear is right there, and we're walking directly toward it. We should probably not do that. See if we can take the long way around. But yeah, so it would it would it would often take me you know a few hours to to 
to wind down and just actually be able to sleep. Because un unlike my colleagues, I, I, I do not partake in the alcohol, so I didn't have anything to, any uh, chemical assistance in, in winding down. I, I, I do what I, I have been told, or uh, what others have called raw dogging life, which I th is, a, is a fun way to put it. As soon as you quit work, uh, as soon as you quit retail having to work on Saturday in a branch after... So retail having to work on a Saturday for a branch after working for the government was tough. Oh, yeah. Hate 9 to 5, too. As with the government, you pick your hours. That, that, I, I get, yeah, that is, that is definitely a transition, because I have, a because I, I moved from that, from the schedule I described, now I am, I am very much like a, like a 9 to 5, 10 to, 10 to 6 kind of thing, because, we've been here, right? We had to have been. Yeah, we, yeah, we had, nope. Oh, I guess we've been in, but we didn't loot it? Well, that's, okay, no, we didn't loot that, all right. That's not quite as weird. Hey, TX, good to see you. Um, yeah, yeah, the the TLD players are out in force. It's update day, after all. Um, did you decide to move away from sports, or was that a move necessary for work purposes? Um, I think it was just kind of an evolution over time. Because when I started out, I was just sports. But part is you know me being overseas, um, especially in places where English is not uh widely spoken i had to pivot to uh doing more than just like writing and reporting i had to do like editing and whatnot um and because i was working in places with small staffs i couldn't i couldn't specialize anymore i had to wear many hats so like i went from being someone who was only a reporter to uh, only a sports reporter to I when I was in Jakarta sometimes I was a sports reporter or a sports editor sometimes I was the business editor sometimes I was the international news editor and sometimes I was a copy editor yeah. and on certain days like when the international news editor the, the, the full-time guy just decided not to show up which he did every so often, um, I got to wear multiple hats in the same work shift. <laughs> yeah, we're just going to let the bear do his thing. You've been watching a show called Alaska Daily. It's a TV show with Hillary Swank working for a newspaper in Alaska. There's an... Interesting. There's another Alaska newspaper show. I say that because uh, I think back in the 90s, there was a show called Northern Exposure. Now, I don't know if it was Alaska or Canada. I think it was pr pretty sure it was Alaska. Um, but they, they, they had another another show along, I guess, similar lines. Although, no one with the star pal power of Hillary Swank, at least as far as I can recall. So what... what uh, What sort of uh, shenanigans does Hillary Swank get up to in this Alaska Daily? And also, what what service is that on? I I haven't heard of that until now. Is that like a net, Netflix show? A uh, or, uh I don't know, what else is it there? Hulu? Would you even ha oh I, would you even have access to Hulu in uh in Scotland on Disney? Ah, okay. It was her that drew, drew you to watch it, but it's pretty good. Okay, I'll have to keep an eye out for it. I, you don't get Hulu. Yeah, I, that, I thought that because I, there was a time when I tried to access Hulu via a VPN, and they, and they shut that down real quick. But yeah, I, I'm, I'm very much you know, in, in the same boat as Will, going from 
the, I guess if you call it swing shift. It, it, and I think though, like there's like the regular, the nine to five, ten to six kind of thing that I'm on now, which will ne it after decades of doing something other than that, it still feels weird. And then swing shift is like you know three to one, and then graveyard shift, which I have also worked not in not in newspapers, but it's like what eleven to seven. She gets fired from her big job in New York or something, and the editor of the Alaska paper who knows her reaches out and offers her a job. Ah. Yeah, see, nowadays you just, you go on LinkedIn and then advertise the fact that you are suddenly an unemployed journalist, and then some brave soul will headhunt you and say, hey, we don't have any staff or any resources, but you want to come work here? And then generally you'll be desperate enough to say, sure. It's about her moving to a very small staff paper, small paper, a few resources compared to what she was used to. Well, that is okay. I'm, I am instantly less interested in uh, in watching that show because um, I've lived that. There we go. There's Alan's cave. I mean, I I, I appreciate you bringing that to my attention, but it's a. Uh, if I'm if I'm going to be watching a show, I, I I I do hope for a little escapism. I I don't want to be doing the thing like where you find a show that base is based off of what you do for a living, and you can say, well, that doesn't happen, and that wouldn't happen, and that is just completely ridiculous, and it just it just takes you right out. It's like what was what was that show on TBS like The Boys, or the, like out like My Boys, Our Boys, something like that. It like it it, it would. It was a sitcom about this woman who was like a uh, beat writer for like the Chicago Tribune or something, and she would cover the Cubs. That's the baseball team in Chicago for, for the non-Americans in the audience. Um, and she would show up wearing a Cubs jersey. She would openly cheer for the team, and it's just, and you just look at it and you think, Man, no one who has ever actually worked as a journalist. Was any was like within a mile of the script, that would never happen. And actually, like like and, and like the general audience who the show is made for would be, yeah, that's it, it'd be just fine. You know, they would they wouldn't even think about that sort of thing. But if you ever, especially if you've ever worked as a journalist and cheered in a press box, um, if it's a press box worth being a part of, people let you know real quick that you don't do that shit. You're there to work, not to be a fan. But again, that's me nitpicking. Or not nitpicking, it's just me being me, knowing what I know. You know, it's like the like cops watching cop dramas, or, or doctors watching doctor dramas. It's like I'm sure some people who do that can can see those and still enjoy them for what they are. Um, I'm not sure I can. Uh, you know, if you suck to be a copper detective, because every murder movie is, um, it could be, yeah, yeah. If you, yeah, if you're if you if you or like or not, or not even just like the uh, the you know like crime movies and whatnot, but like all of like the uh, the recent boom in was it true crime podcasts and shows and whatnot? Because like who who wants to who wants to take their you know their leisure time and be reminded of you know the stuff you do to pay your rent? I'm not sure I can carry much more. 
So where? Okay, I'm trying to think of other interior locations in this zone that are not prepper caches because those aren't in the game yet. Maybe that'll happen later today. Oh, let's see, we've been we've been to the camp office. We've been to the dam, obviously. We've been to those cabins. We went to the cabin by the lake. We've been in the lookout tower. And we've been in trappers. Um, shoot, I... I'm kind of hard up for ideas. I think it's, I think it might be time for us to, uh, well, not not right now because it's late in the day. I think it might just be time to go to coastal. It does it does that for you as well, TX. That's why you don't want you don't want to do YouTube or Twitch. You record enough and prep enough for your recorded lectures at work. Oh, I see. Yeah, that makes sense. And I, I, I imagine some people might be able to make that split. You know that this is you know this is work stuff, and then this is my enjoyment stuff, and they can compartmentalize that in their brain. Again, I, I don't know if I am. I am dis mentally disciplined enough to keep those apart. Husband's work just closed down due to a bad accident in the workshop. Oh, no. Oh, he's fine. Good. But waiting on details. Yeah, that is that is scary. Oh. Yeah, hoping for good... Er, yeah, hoping for good news from that. That is... Eesh. Although, you know... And good, good on Husbando for knowing to text you straight away rather than you hearing that there is an accident but not hearing from him. Because that would be the worst of the worlds. Okay, I'm going to bust out the map here. All right. Uh, let's see. Yeah, so the look, been to the lookouts. We checked the derailment, and that hunter's blind, and then the other hunter's blind over, over, over there near Allen's Cave. Trappers, even like the, the little hut in the deadfall area, Camp HQ, the lake cabins. I don't think the fishing huts. Um, yeah, we've, we've been in the truck out in front of the dam. And then the, the two cabins that are there. I do... I, um... Yeah, the, uh, what was it, the, there is a cabin north of the unnamed pond. That was new to us, um, but that didn't trigger the achievement. I can't think of anywhere else we might need to go. So yeah, I think we're gonna, we're gonna have to run off to Coastal if we're gonna get this done. Because the caves wouldn't count, the fishing huts wouldn't count. Hmm. They were ever so slightly low on moose steak. We might have to. Uh, we might have to go get more at some point. Why won't that be fun? And we're just hanging out outdoors, uh, just for fun. 
And so we can... Oh, oh, wow, those give two leather. Okay, that is handy. Oh, jeez. <laughs> okay. All right. Surprise blizzard. Jeez. Sure getting cold. Except you're not, Astrid. Just... Yes, somehow, that's, yeah, it, I just, I hate that. I can, in the middle of doing something that takes an extended period, um, your character just happens to not notice that a blizzard pops up. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I know the temperature is going down quickly, and yeah, you know, there's snow and wind blowing, but gosh darn it, I need to tear up these shoes. Almost had it. Hey, there we go. Now, there's still some light left, so... Um, oh, actually, it's a good thing we got that leather. Some of these could use some work. The gauntlets in particular. Let's see, can we... Squeeze that in? I hope so. Hey, there we go. Well, shucks. Okay. Well, that was only cloth, so that's fine. Let me let me go and hydrate myself here. And I, I went and hydrated Astrid as well. Okay, there we go. You know what it might be? It could very well be that there was some car somewhere in Coastal Highway that we didn't check into. Because go, because the unlike the the fishing huts, the cars do count because you zone into them. It sounds dumb because it kind of is, but you know we we take the challenge as we find it. Oh, and there's an aurora. Lovely. Well, you know what that means. We can finally repair that toque. Excellent. Um, the rest seems fine. Yeah, we'll pop out of the door real quick. We'll at least grab some more water and a little a little midnight snack. How about that? And of course, since it is an Aurora, we are obliged to pause for a moment and take a few screenshots. I mean, it's the long dark. That's just what you do. I mean, pe people would look at you funny if you walked out to an aurora and then you didn't then go, ooh, pretty.
But yeah, there's all <laughs> there's only so much of that you can do for is both the ball starts to get a little repetitive and a little dangerous. You saw none last week was ice and cloudy only. Oh, oh right, yeah, because I saw uh, notifications from Canada that uh, there was some expected aurora borealis activity, but no luck for UTX. Oh, that stinks. I do. I really do want to see these in uh, the yeah the, those lights in person someday. If I if I was wanting to be a fit all efficient about it and such, I might even come by because I I also do want to visit Scandinavia in general. So that would be that would be a good time to do that very same thing. Okay, sun not quite up, although we're very close. There we go. Okay, yeah, we'll grab some water on the way out. Uh, we probably don't... Do we need all those? Yeah, we'll... Yeah, we'll, we'll Actually, no, we don't need to, because we're... Now that we have a, a fuller complement of arrows with us, we don't... Probably don't need to carry those with. Yeah, we have, yeah, we have 20 arrows in a, in a bow that's in pretty decent shape. Okay, no need for those. Tools are fine. Weapons are fine. We can probably spare a mega torch. Um probably don't need to be carrying around six stems with us. I know that that's a big shout, but you know, I'm gonna make it. That's fine. Grab some water for the road. Oh, that's Okay, so now off to Coastal Highway and we're going to try and find wherever this, uh, this gosh darn interior location that continues to elude us. Because either we're missing something obvious, which, which is quite likely. Or, or the achievement might still be bugged. Uh, are we looking for one spot? Well, that's the thing, Will. We don't know. Um, the achievement just says visit every interior location in Coastal Highway and Mystery Lake, uh, but there's no running tracker. You know, it, it keeps a track of like uh, of achievements that need like for a certain days in length, um, or sorry, TX rather. Um, yeah, we're going for oh, is it called uh, exploration game? Which feels like it was uh, an achievement left left over from when there were only two zones in the game very early on. Obviously, there are far more now.
But yeah, because um, I only have three achievements to go at least, uh, on Steam. Uh, still, I get to do Stone Age Sniper, which is is going to take some work. And then obviously 500 days, which we're just slowly chipping away at. One day at a time. Um, but then the other one is Exploration Game, which feels odd not to have done that, especially in a run where we, we did Faithful Cartographer. But yeah, so I thought I would just see if we can get that knocked out while we're waiting for the update. Yeah, the one uh, where you got to hit, hit a rabbit with a stone from like, 30 meters or was that like 80 feet away? Now, from what I'm told, the best place to do that is actually Coastal Highway. Uh, I think the trick is to go up high and then th uh, yeah, throw the rock down onto the ice and let it bounce onto the rabbit. I don't know how valid that is, but uh, that's I've heard multiple people say that's the uh, that is the simplest way to go about it. So we might try and do that. You did that one by accident, Mystery Lake. OK, but yeah, that, that does seem like the sort of thing is it's um, it might even be easier to do by accident and you're you're aiming for one and then you miss, but then it, the rock will bounce and then hit the bunny from the requisite distance away. But yeah, um, as far as I can tell, we've been everywhere in Mystery Lake that has, uh, that has like an interior that you zone into. We did find one place that we had missed earlier, the the cabin that is north of the pond whose name no one can remember. But beyond that, I am I'm stumped for where to look. So we're gonna we're going to operate under the assumption that we have in fact been where we need to go in Mystery Lake. So we're gonna we're gonna check coastal. It could be an actual building, or it could be you know one of the many vehicles that are strewn about the place. You aim for one, it missed, bounces hit another bun another bunny further away. Well, there you go. Now the 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 thing with that is unless unless you get a particularly good uh, start out of the blocks the rabbit that you hit that far away is going to recover before you can track it down and do whatever it is you mean to do to it. But I suppose that that disappointment is mitigated by the, the, the dopamine rush of getting the achievement. At least the first time. Every other time beyond that, then it would just be disappointment. You think you were stunned longer than the rabbit was? I, I can definitely understand that. You know, you see the rock miss, you're probably, okay, I gotta go either, you know, pick, you know, pull out another rock and try to get the rabbit again, or I gotta go get the rock, chase the rabbit. You don't expect to hear the wee the, the little rabbit squeal from a rabbit you weren't aiming at. Love that ambient noise, Hinterland. Really super duper do. Okay.
I know there are people who, is, who insist that you have more margin for error going over the trestle than you think. I know there are some people, like Prof Nels, who just go across that in an absolute dead sprint. Um, I am not one of those people. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, the, yeah the, oh, yeah, yeah, the, the surprise achievement pop up as well. That is, that is also jarring. Um, I know in the last stream, I was, uh, <laughs> I wasn't expecting to see the faithful cartographer pop up because I, I thought I had another wall waterfall yet to map. Little did I know that apparently I had positioned Astra just so that she was able to see, uh, both waterfalls she was meant to map at the same time and somehow get them both down at once. Your vertigo makes that rail part difficult? I can imagine. Because like it's... I don't think I have vertigo, but if I if I linger over it, I will... You know, th things will not go well for me. So I... That's when I do I, I do my focus down thing. I look exactly where I'm going, like th two feet in front of me, and pay no heed to anything happening on either side. I try to do that for uh, the uh, the rope bridges in Ash Canyon too, but uh, <laughs> doesn't always work. Okay, so here we go. We're going to... I know we've been in here. I think we've been... I I would wager we've been in most, if not all, the buildings in Ash... Er, in Ash Canyon. In... Coastal, but... We're going to pop in and check nonetheless. Those words? Yeah... What did Zach say? It's like they're they're not. I, I don't know if it was Zach or someone else. He said they're they're not actually swaying the way you think they're swaying, um, and you can just keep moving forward. But man, does it feel like they're actually moving? And it it you you need to put forth some effort to actually stay in a spot on those where you won't fall down. Okay, so that was the one up by the the this the train loading part. Should be another cabin down here. Okay, no down. Okay, down there. Okay, little little, little premature. That's fine. Okay, popping. Pretty sure we've been here too. Yes, yes. Lovely. Moving swiftly along. Uh, okay, no. Yeah, sometimes when you're looking just over a ridge, it can be hard to tell whether that little the, the lump of brown you see, is it a bear? Like the top of a bear? Or is it a stump? Or is it one of those little log dividers? 
one of the many fun games we like to play here, and the little mini mini games of the Log Dark. Uh, oh, hey, there's a and there's a cottage up here. Have we been in this one? I I don't actually know. Oh, we're about to find out. Hey, oh, oh, wow. Look at that big beast of a birch. That is an absolute chonker. It feels like this is the kind of birch tree that should give you those absolutely ginormous birch bark shavings that you find in the uh, Ash Canyon birch forest. Rather than all those normal sized ones. Ooh, we have not actually searched you. My apologies, Carl Bob. I should have checked in on you much sooner. Ooh, new location. Ooh. I hope nobody needs this anymore. Rough ski jacket. Um no achievement though. <gasps> Peanut butter. Love it. Well, even though we didn't get the achievement, drop any of this gear. Um, the peanut butter alone makes it a, a good visit. Yeah, two hundred some odd days, and I would imagine. Oh no. Okay. Okay. Yeah, the the soda would still be in, in good shape. But yeah, I would imagine 230 days in, things are going to be in fairly rough shape, whatever we do find here. And anything that was in a container would be pretty well gone by now. Okay. Well, might as well take care of that. Uh, not sure what actually happened. Husband was out on a job at their other place, so, but they sent everyone home and an ambulance was called. Oh, geez. That, yeah, that really does sound serious. But I'm glad to hear husband was off elsewhere, because that is... Uh, even if you're not directly involved, that's re really doesn't sound like the sort of thing you want to see. Yeah, it sounds like there there are there are sites there that might stay with you for a while and not in a good way. Yeah, someone, some, and, and hopefully not, but maybe someone and their family have had a very bad day. Okay. I'm actually going to go wander. Let's start from the west side of the zone. I spent much less time there than, like, the side with Quonset and whatnot, so... Maybe it's on this side where I missed something. Because I obviously I already missed one spot. Uh, when he came back to get his stuff, he wasn't allowed on the workshop floor. Ooh. He thinks it's an older guy. It happened to as well. Hoping he is okay. Wow. Yeah, hope so. Have we, yes. Uh, the mapping, we are absolutely done. We have, we have mapped all 215 locations. So we've, we've completed the Faithful Cartographer achievement, which apparently only 1% of players on Steam have. So I can finally say I am among the 1%. <laughs> um, so yeah, now that, now that we're, you know, we're still waiting for the update to drop. Uh, now we're going for another achievement called Exploration Game. And this is an this is an old one. 
Um, for this one, you're you just have to uh, explore every interior location in Mystery Lake and Coastal Highway, which is where we are now. Um, and this achievement is a holdover from the very early days of the game, because uh, Mystery Lake and Coastal are they were the first two zones to be added to the game. But unfortunately, the game does not give you really any way of tracking your progress on this achievement. So, uh, we are kind of flying blind. Ooh. Well, sure. Um, do a lot of people have that achievement? Um... I think actually let me not let me not even do that. Let me guess or let me not guess. I can check real quick. Um according to Steam, uh two percent of players have exploration game. And then six point six percent have Stone Age Sniper, stun a rabbit with a rock from more than twenty five meters or eighty feet away. And then another one percent have the will to live. For which you just you survive 500 days. Those are the last three achievements I do not have. Obviously, some of those are going to be easier to track down than others. Because like the rock one, you can we can kind of wing that, so to speak. Um... And then just by, why, if we do enough wandering around, we can find the locations. Um, but yeah, 500 days, there's really no way to power through that. Uh, okay. Um, oh yeah, there, uh, no, I mean, okay, there is, a, there's a house up here by the Rabbit Grove. But I am almost certain we've been there, because, you know, that was up near... Oh... Yeah, because the, the house by the Rabbit Grove, because uh, we were... I know we were there while looking for one of the memento caches. Ow. Oh, Astra's just... Astra can be a little dramatic at times. And also the, uh, the, the foldy work makes it sound much worse than it is. Which is a credit to the foldy work. Yeah, this place right here. Not sure why someone will bring a laptop all the way out here, but uh, okay. Okay. Uh, yeah, alright, we'll go ahead and fix that up, I suppose. Okay, so... Yeah, we, yeah, the, the rabbit grove. We're here. Um... And the river goes down this way. Rock falls down. Okay. Well, my other working theory is that the thing keeping us from this achievement is like there's some some vehicle somewhere that we haven't checked. 
that we need to zone into. So I think the best way to do that would just you know follow the river down to the highway, watching for the bear. We know this is bear country. And we just go down to the far end. And then we work our way basically around towards the Quonset and check every vehicle we come across. Because if it's not that, I don't. I'm not sure of what other buildings we might be missing. It'd probably be something. I guess. Yeah, yeah. It had to be tucked into the interior of the zone somewhere. Because like everything on the outskirts, I think we've checked. Yeah, because if it was a named location, we would have picked it up while we were going about doing Faithful Cartographer, presumably. I mean, I know I say all that, and yet, I mean, in, you know, even just in, in this session today, we found two buildings that we had not visited previously. And both of them were well into the interior of the zone and slightly off the beaten path so it's not out of the question there could be more Okay, there's there's the highway. I think unlike was it unlike Milton and and I think Desolation Point, I don't believe there are any vehicles that have gone off road. They've like fallen off of bridges and whatnot. Hey, buddy. Nothing hiding up there? No? Okay. Okay, yeah, there's... There's one. Now, the end of the road is right up here. Because remember, we had to map that as part of Faithful Cartographer. I don't see any vehicles on the road there, so... Well, hang on. Let's, let's just go check. Just going to be absolutely sure. Because there could... Okay, yep, yeah, nothing up there. Um, actually... Maybe something hiding up here? Not a vehicle, maybe, but maybe a, a, a shack of some sort? They're just kind of casting about here, because they... <laughs> And these are regions that I, I I would like to think I know decently well. But part of the thing is like you don't have you don't have to have absolutely flawless map knowledge to be able to move around and and do well in at least in these couple zones, you know, they're 
Oh, there's a, okay. Well, we know we haven't been up here because there's a maple sapling we haven't harvested. Keep that with us, obviously. There's a prop, though. But, uh, yeah, no, no, uh... Yeah, no sign of any interior location. So we'll just move right along. But yeah, um, like Mystery Lake, Coastal Highway, there are enough, there's enough shelter and enough resources to where you don't have to know the entire zone like the back of your hand to, to stick and stay and, and do reasonably well as a survivor. You know, it's not like HRV or Ash Canyon to where well, there's another sapling. I probably just walked right past. Hey, Northern Lights. Good to see you. Welcome, welcome. How you doing? Hope your Thursday is going well. Happy update day to you if, if you are among those who are going to celebrate. Ah, uh, we are just... We're kind of in the update waiting room, um, trying to knock out another achievement, trying to get uh, the one where you do every interior location in Coastal and Mystery Lake. Yep, been in here. Kind of expect that. Yeah, I'm thinking if, if the update works the way the first part of this update did, it's more than likely going to drop too late for me to partake tonight. Because I, I do still have to work tomorrow. But my hope is uh, everything goes well. There there are no like day one glitches or or stuff that needs to be patched and then so come tomorrow night for me you can jump right in and I guess see whatever see what there is to see in uh in this of uh, the first tale of tales from the from the far territory i keep wanting to call it tales from the far frontier which would be I guess, I guess, in a li linguistic sense, that would also work. But there's like, rather than having that symmetry of TFTFT, -T -T, you'd have TFTFF. And really, who wants that? Yeah, me too. I am. I'm excited to see what they do. I mean, just just the just the thought of having like a side quest in survive in sandbox mode, regardless, is a really neat twist. I want to know how they work it in. Um, like, where's all the stuff we're supposed to find? Is that a, that is a, that is a cabin right there? random spot for a cabin and they got back nope okay but yeah um and you want to find this transponder and then it sounds like there could there's some really interesting lore behind it uh and no as it turns out we have in fact been here well shucks <laughs> All right, moving on. Seems like story mode and survival mode mixed, but still mysterious. Yeah. And I... And also the fact that they also, they made it, they've kind of linked it to Aurora's again, which I imagine is supposed to incentivize players to take the risk of going out and about during an Aurora because I guess the uh, the loot in the Aurora mine here in Coastal is, you know, 
it isn't necessarily enough to get players to run the risk of going down there and then potentially getting stuck. Okay. Now we'll check the fishing cabins while we're here. Yep, been here. I, mean, I know that is one of the spots where you're supposed to go in the Archivist Challenge. Which could actually be good training for whatever this tale is coming up. You've been mauled by so many Aurora Life. Oh, are, are, do you, are you one of those people who likes to go out during Auroras? I don't... I don't know that I've met many people like that, like that Northern Lights. So, you know, and good on you. It's it's good to be bold and you know experience the the wonders that the world has to offer, especially during those the roars, which are which are you know gorgeous and as you as you've noted, also dangerous. in here I got excited there for a second um, saw a uh, saw a steam pop up in the bottom right um, but nope not an achievement it just said you have one new item in your inventory well don't play with my heart like that steam I don't know I can take it okay We're not going out there. There we go. We're going to take the long way around. You find the Aurora beautiful, so you usually venture out, but you forget wildlife isn't scared anymore. Yeah, and, and the game has a way of reminding you of that real quick. Why is everything blurry? Um, well, we have pain from a sprain earlier, but yeah, I think I think that that particular effect might have been like the the fog clearing. Yeah, I think the blending the blending of the two might have done that. Okay, so we did find one uh, location we didn't go in, and the west side of the zone. Uh, still no achievement, though. And I know we've been in the the houses on Misanthropes and Jackrabbit. Gonna make our way uh, westward, I suppose. I'm really not interested in dealing with you. Yeah, you, yeah, you can tell uh, Stalker is kind of... it. Ha I don't want to say it's inert me to the wolves. Cause the, the, the initial bark still gets your attention, but... Like, uh, either, you know, people who are new to the game, or I guess people who are on Interloper, where you really should be scared of wolves. Um, 
I mentioned the, the, the reaction to that might be, you know, heightened senses and be on the lookout and maybe even a little a little scared. Um, by this point, I hear the I hear, you hear the bork, you react to the bork, and then you just the eyes start to roll. It's like, ugh, another wolf. I am like so over it. Which I know isn't necessarily a, uh, a useful uh, reaction to have, because even stalker wolves can, you know, can, can ruin you if you give if you give them the chance. Okay, there we go. Nope, can't go in there. Uh, the game has made sure of that. And again, and, and, uh, we're, um, we're going into places I know we've been in previously, but it's just, I feel the need to check just to make absolutely sure. Okay, no dice there. Um, okay, if we follow that all the way up, it go it goes to the cabin um, that's on the uphill way to the uh, the coal mine en route to Pleasant Valley. Where? Uh, oh, 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 oh. Okay. Um, where are those? Like the yeah the. The, the cabins that are up there, like where the where the rabbits like to run about and frolic, have we checked those? I I feel like we have, but I don't know for sure. Maybe we'll check there. Hey, Don, good to see you. Oh, let me. Yeah, let me give a good and proper welcome, because I am a good and proper streamer. There we go. Yes, anyone anyone here who isn't already following done, please fix that immediately. Dunn's a super cool dude. Plays the Long Dark, also plays Darkest Dungeon, and The Sims. The Sims seems to be the new hotness as well. Um... And he's a darn good author too. Um, yeah, check him out. I think, he, and as I was saying earlier, you know, Dunn is one of those people who started out playing Voyager, and he still does from time to time. But now he's a he is a Loper player who has a pretty darn good Loper run going at the moment. Am I am I correct in that, Dunn? I, I was just talking earlier about making the move to uh, making the move to playing Loper myself at some point. A Loper player. I mean, you, you, you are a player of the Long Dark and you do so on the Interloper difficulty. Ergo, you are an Interloper player. At least as far as I'm concerned. I mean, you, you've got to run. You, when I, when last I saw you, would you were like seventy days on your loper run? Yeah, and that that is no mean feat. I mean, the fact that the game has an achievement where you you know, you you get a little you get the little badge and the little serotonin hit if you last for a day on loper, and the fact that you know you've gone from being one of Zach's hobbits to now. Having a 70-day loper run? That's damn impressive. Yeah, the current PB is 70 and 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 going, I hope. And you, you can hang with the difficulty in maps you know. Well, hey, there you go. 
It's from watching all of you. Well, sure as shit isn't from watching me. <laughs> I mean, I'm out here running about on Stalker. What do I know? But no, I, I, I was in, in all seriousness. I do, I do take heart from seeing, like you, know, you done, but also like Koru and Burb and Tuna, you know, people who, you know, people who they they played, you know, played Voyager. Maybe they played Stalker, but seeing people be brave and take a chance on Loper, kind of break their nose on it. Because it, it it has that steep learning curve. Um, oh wow, we hadn't actually been in here. This might be it. But yeah, and then people take you know challenge themselves, and maybe struggle at first, but stick with it. And now, I think all four of you have very good loper runs to your name. I think that is that is something to be both admired and celebrated. Because I I am all too aware that it's easy to stay in your comfort zone. And, it, and as, as I say, not everyone has to like push themselves and play the game on maximum difficulty. But I think it's cool when people do that. And as I fully intend to do at some point. Really, really, what I was hoping, what I was, uh, was hoping on doing, hoping on doing, planning on doing, and or hoping. Um, I think because having having done faithful cartographer, I think, um, yeah. Once this update drops, I may use this file to explore the uh, the tail and some of the new fun stuff, but. Snow, if the hypothermia wouldn't kill me. You're going to do no such thing, Astrid. Calm down. But yeah, um, I think th this will like th this will be the, the one. Hey, we got it. Exploration game. Achievement get. Uh, but yeah, um. I mean, I'll keep the file alive, obviously, and then this will be the one I use to push for 500 days, but... I... I feel like there there will, this there is going to be a pivot to Loper on a new file here before too long. But I just... I'm, I'm, I, have, I, I, I am a believer in the concept of momentum, and... We have such good momentum built up in this run that I I hesitate to walk away from it. And yes, done absolutely. Burb is amazing. To see, she is absolutely crushing the game. In I don't know if it's her her first encounter with with Loper, but. She absolutely just, she, it seems like she has just broken the game over her knee. Burp will end up doing no Goa. <laughs> um, yeah, she's welcome to that. I, uh, I, I had my three, I got my three days in during no go of Ember and far as I'm concerned, that's good. Burb will hang out with wands, blades, PT, those, yeah, or she's gonna, she's gonna be hanging with the cool kids, you know, the, she, she's moved on from the nerd table. I just hope she, she remembers us and she's still, she's, she's still willing to nod at us from a distance. Oh, she's she's running with the um, the in crowd. <laughs> God, it's like a John Hughes movie all over again. You 
you know, Burb just needed to find the Loper player is, that was inside her all along. TX, the joy of success, the panic of what I what do I do now? Yeah, that that did kind of cross my mind. Um. Oh. Okay, I say that, but I actually do know what to do now. Um, it's time to chuck a bunch of rocks at some rabbits. Uh, maybe not this particular day, because. It's late, Astrid is tired, and clear sky at night tells me an aurora's on the way. It's probably not, but I feel... I f Okay, it's starting to snow. Okay, so that, that might actually put pay to that. And yeah, admittedly, it is probably just my paranoia talking. But I'm, okay, yeah, it is definitely clouding over. All right, you know, put the Aurora on the back burner, but even so. I think it's a good time to get inside, give Astrid a nice rest, and celebrate our achievements. By, I don't know. Oh, fudge. So like I was saying, we're going to give Azrid a nice rest, celebrate her achievements with uh, maybe a nice steak, and make sure we are well away from wherever that bear was. Oh, boy. Oh, yeah, there we go. <laughs> it took a minute for our, our little meat buffet here to load in. As you know, what we could do, we could flex on... Well, we don't need to eat. Although, we will need to eat in the morning. And... Wow, that's that actually still has a remarkable percentage on it. Okay, yeah, we'll cook. Well, yeah, we'll cook up a little meat. Nice buffet. Yeah, thank you. It is uh, <laughs> uh, some of it. Honestly, most of it, we didn't actually go very far for most of this. Um, like the wolves, they're just they all tend to come to us. Um. The moose was right... Actually, the, the moose started out over there. I think it ended up, like, up on that hill, and we did have to schlep it down. Um, the bear... The bear... clipped through that... walked through that tree while we were cooking the moose and gave me an almighty fright. So... Just in defense of our our moose hall, I felt honor bound to take that bear down. So I did, and so we have bear steaks here as well. Um, were you looking at dredge? I am absolutely looking at dredge. I I have I have looking at, I have looking at it so much I pre-ordered it. Come on, little fire. And I generally avoid pre-ordering games. Okay, is this protected from the fire? It might not be. Let's see. Today, I thought tomorrow was the day, but you you, you might be right, Dunn. I don't, I'm not 100% sure on that. 
Oh, oh shoot. That's right, I, I forgot. Yeah, find, finding the cooking slots here is difficult. We gotta, we gotta use the menu. There's the other cooking slot. There we go. Yeah, my little, my, my delight at being able to sort of fire in the back of the pickup truck is uh, somewhat tempered by the absolute ball ache that comes with trying to uh, find the cooking slots. I guess with something that, well, if you have something that stands up like a can or, or a pot or whatnot, it's easier, but putting meat down is, it's, it's a bit of a challenge. Although done, now that you mentioned that, maybe the thing, because I got a little steam pop-up, said there is one new item in your inventory. Maybe that was dredge. We'll have to find out. But yeah, I, I am very much looking forward to that. 26, 30. Can I, can I get to it? No, I cannot. Okay. Oh, you got an email that was out. Okay. Well, if that's the case, I know what I'm downloading immediately after this stream. Because I am... It looks like, what, what if Darkest Dungeon but fishing? Yeah. Because I was thinking, um... I don't know if you saw, it was like Moonglow Bay or Moonglow Harbor. A game that came out, I think, last year. There was also, as I also heard it titled, like, Canadian PTSD Simulator. Um... You follow that? Yeah, I think. I think, like, yeah. What? What if? What if Moon, Moon Glow Harbor, but with, uh, yeah, with Eldritch Horrors, and I guess non-voxel graphics. I'm just going to grab those, and we're going to go in here. We'll let that fire go out. That's fine. But yeah, I, yeah, Dredge and Terranil and the update, plus the Stellaris story pack. Oh, and uh, and then on top of all that, um, what is it? Uh, I guess not this month, but I think in early May, um, Backpack Hero is supposed to go 1.0. So there, there's so much neat stuff going on, and it's all in the indie space as well, which is, which is great for me because I, 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 I like playing games. I love supporting indie games, um, because there's just, yeah, so much, so much fun stuff going on. You love some Stellaris, yeah. I haven't actually had a chance to take the. Uh, take the story pack out for a spin yet but from what i've seen it looks really neat especially the uh what do they call those like the uh, the breakthrough technologies that you get by observing the pre-ftl civilizations it's going to make finding them and then getting the uh observation posts up way more valuable than it used to because previously you just got a boost to your society research and some occasionally problematic events but now is actually going to be a good idea, and I very much look forward to that. Because what I was thinking, and this is... This is kind of inspired by, I think, an earlier series that Hadrian did. Um, what, I, what I'd like to do is try out the story pack as, um, like, as humans setting out into, into the galaxy for the first time. But, like, what if you were to do that, but... Uh, no one was there. Like the 
like you can like make a a playthrough centered around like the Drake equation or the the Fermi paradox. Or what's the what's the new take on that from the uh, from the three body problem series? Was it the uh... oh yeah the like the dark forest theory to where like there are other uh, there are other civilizations out there capable of space travel, but they all know better than to announce their presence because there's something big and nasty out there and they don't want its attention. Um, unlike us who have been broadcasting our location for decades <laughs> what could go wrong right oh there's a dark forest origin in the new pack oh fun or potentially terrifying or both you like to watch streams to Lars sometime you love it but you have no idea what what you're what you're doing okay i th i might i think i just might i just <laughs> again i need to find time among, among all these other fantastic games and that's and that's in, in the, that that's just that's just the new stuff you know, there's also you know, all those other fun games that that are that are out there that deserve playing but I just I have yet to touch like well but it's fine don't need to expand about that but yeah I I appreciate that done and it is the Stel a Stellaris is definitely on the list. Although I might want to build that out a little bit and like with with, with a bit of the, with the uh, like the Drake equation Fermi paradox. Maybe just, maybe I can do, like, I can put some commands in there for uh, one to, like spark discussion, but also like um, if people aren't familiar with those, that'd be good to do. Um, before we head out, I would like one. Okay, one. We'll take these. We'll just turn all those into prepared birch bark. We're just gonna linger in here a little bit, let the day warm up, and maybe make a little water too. There we go. I forget who it was yesterday. If it, if it was TX or Psychotic Deer or or someone, um, but they mentioned like they, they appreciated that I I make a point of starting lighting torches with cardboard matches. Come on, little fire! Come on! And I, I don't know that it's a min max thing so much as it's just. Um, you know, I mean, it matters less now because with fire starting five, it's just, you got a hundred percent chance anyway. But um, you say you save the wood matches because um, they have the higher fire starting chance. So if if in a if you're in a position where you're not able to use a torch, like it's too windy, or or, or whatever, you know, you, you have that little bit of extra. You know, not that that was on my mind when I was doing this. Um, it was mostly because I wanted to get the, uh, you know, burn through the cardboard matches and get them out of my inventory. But still, uh, as it was explained to me, it's actually not a bad idea. So it's probably something I will continue doing in the future. go we have water we have bed oh oh shoot okay okay there's our birch sapling plus one and then our maple saplings plus one yeah and there yeah there's the uh, the remains of our uh, our hunting around the area Note to myself, let's see, so Coastal Quonset. So now Coastal Quonset, yes, so now five birch. 
three maple. There we go. Also, LA, not knob. Um, at fire five, you should do it the other way because wood badges are heavier. Hmm. Let's see. Uh, let's see. Oh, they added a note system. Um, allegedly. I think I think the, the note system is in beta uh, done. I don't know if it's available to all players. I wouldn't worry too much about it. Okay, yeah, so you see, 44 cardboard matches weigh 0.22 kilograms, so that's what? 0 0.05 per? I know, I'm, I know, I'm not a math magician. Or, let's see, or, let's see, 12 wood matches or 0.1. Um, yeah, actually, that, that does appear to track. Uh, not a huge difference, but it is, that is factually accurate, not knob, so I will, I will, you know, a, a hat tip to you. Although that is a level of uh, weight micromanagement that I think might even be beyond me. Not that I think my level of play is uh, beyond that. Um, I'm just... <laughs> as much as I love micro, um, I love being lazy even more. <laughs> Not that it really matters. I mean, it, it, it does matter to an extent. Because, like, like, if the game has that... You know, the game has that, that hard binary between the being under carrying capacity and over carrying capacity, and especially if you're going to have to climb somewhere. Every little bit helps. Okay, so. Having found the uh, the unvisited interior locations, we move on to our next our next bit of uh, achievement hunting, and we're gonna go boop some bunnies from a distance. <laughs> it's, it, is, it is. I was just checking the percentages on Steam earlier. Um, yeah, like one percent of players have faithful cartographer. Two percent of players have uh, exploration game. Like six and a half percent of players have Stone Age sniper. Now I don't know if that's a commentary on how easy each of those are obviously you know the faithful cartographer is a big undertaking there's the bear i was wondering where it is um but yeah, I, I i have to wonder how many of the players who have stone age sniper actually set out specifically to get it versus how many were just like uh, I think, like uh, Northern Lights did, where they were they were just trying to get a rabbit in the normal manner, and they just they just fluked into getting a different rabbit from the from the proper distance. Okay, so we have in front of us two bun buns. I think there's another one over there. It's 
So first things first, we need to collect some rocks. Oh, there's a Carl Bob up here. Have I have I paid a visit to this Carl Bob? I don't. No, we have not. They have a revolver just know. sitting out. Could end up being useful. I mean, almost certainly not. It's a thirty-one percent, but yeah, we'll take it. Frontier shooting guide. Sure. Well, Carl Bob, my apologies. Um, I left you unattended here for lo these many days. I'm not sure I can carry much more. So, good thing we checked there. There is a stone. Uh, I would wager we're probably going to need a few more. Hey, psychotic deer. Welcome, welcome. Oh, yeah, and like, like speak, speaking of people who have broken interloper over their knee. You know, psychotic deer over here just got to day 1,000. And... And they, they, uh, they went to the airfield and they they set up a big signal fire and tried to signal for help. And then for some strange reason, the aliens didn't come calling. Okay. I think this distance should be sufficient. Oh, close. I think it stopped just in front of it. I think I have the right line, though. Uh, DLC Part 2 is about to be up in a little... 20-ish uh, minutes. Ooh. West Coast time is 9.35 a.m. So are they expecting it at the top of the hour? Because that... Yeah, because that... that uh, no, it is. Yeah, I don't... It must have been a bug, Psychotic Deer. Because I don't... Every time I've got to a thousand days on Interloper, you know, the aliens did swing by and then asked me if they could give me a lift. Not sure why they didn't do it for you. Okay. I'm trying to be a little cautious because I know there there's a jerk who likes to hang out around here. Unfortunately, they... The bun buns have all gone maybe a little far out of our range. 10 a.m. Okay, yeah, 10 a.m. is like 1 a.m. here, which is right when I usually stop streaming. Yeah, maybe yeah, maybe they'll they'll they'll, they'll patch that. Psychotic deer, and then the aliens will come. I'm, it'll be fine. The sky is falling. Is that a good kind of sky falling or a bad kind of sky falling? There, uh, Northern Lights. That was a, a little, a little cryptic. Okay, I might be. I might be too far away. Oh, for the rabbit. Okay, yeah. That is, uh... That would be accurate. Yeah, it might be too far out from there. You were finding the aliens in the airfield? Well, maybe you just didn't look close enough. Now, so is this... If we're going to go for Stone Age Sniper, is this where we want to try it? Because we, we have multiple Bun Buns here. That is... That is an important part of the equation. But I don't know that Astrid has the arm to make the throw from here. Especially when the Bun Buns all go to the opposite side of the island like a bunch of jerks. 
Is that a long dark conspiracy? Uh, is it? I mean, who's to say? Okay. Maybe we'll go for a little extra loft when we try this. Oh, no. Hang on. Yeah, the bun bun's going... going to the side. Although, it is... It has... Okay. It stopped, and then it didn't stop. Well, I mean, I'm not even going to kill him. Again, is this is, you know, this is the official, you know, Trooper Berry promise. If I if I actually end up beating one of these rabbits from the from the perspective distance, I will let it go with all the blessing and protection that Astrid Greenwood and her many weapons can provide. That is my pledge to you, the rabbits of Coastal Highway. I'm not sure if that was a sassy wow or not. I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna. Oh, is that is that where the rock went? Haha! I knew I had one more. I'm gonna. I'm be gone, fiend. We're just gonna move swiftly along. Was it the twenty-five? So whoa! How far from here would twenty-five? <coughs> excuse me, where would twenty-five meters be? Or do I even want to bother? Do we want to check on actual Jackrabbit Island? Maybe that's the play. Let's go see if there's some bun buns over on on Bun Bun Island, and see if we can have better luck. And the video is up on YouTube. Mm. Is it now? Is it there? But is it viewable? Or is it the thing like they they say that it's, it's you know will premiere in however many minutes or whatnot? There's a jerk on the other side of the of this uh, island, so we're gonna. Oh shoot! Oh, come on, come on, Astrid! A little verticality. It's all I ask. Let's. Oh, jeez! Right there. Anything interesting? Wash up. Um. A pair of sneakers washed up. Well, that's... And they're only 1% wet. I have no idea how. <laughs> a shell casing? Fucking... I'm beachcombing over here! I'm beachcombing over here! It's about it's about to premiere. I Yep. 
Yeah, two shell casings while beachcombing. That is, uh, that's a new one on me. Of course, shoes while beachcombing, also new on me. Just go away, you big, stupid face. Wolves, that wolves, uh, wolves, harassing us is the opposite of new. It is old and busted. I just want to boop some bun buns. You know, I, I, I wish to visit only the gentlest violence upon them. Unfortunately, I am not seeing any Bun Buns on Bun Bun Island. I swear to fuck. Throughout every damn corner. And now we're not doing pursuit music? Okay, this is strange. I mean, believe me. If there's anyone here who misses, who would miss pursuit music, uh, it ain't me. Be gone, fiend. <sighs> Fine. You're so eager to die. Come get some. I gave you every opportunity to not end up like this, and yet you persisted. I'm not mad, I'm disappointed. Okay, well, no luck finding Bun Buns around here, so we're going to have to double back and see if we can get them from the requisite distance. Over by a misanthrope. You know, where the bear likes to hang out. Grab a couple backup stones. Yeah, all the bun buns seem to con be congregating over here. So, if we're going to make this happen, you know, unless we can get up on the roof of the fishing hut, which would be a pretty cool maneuver, I gotta say. Um, we're going to have to find a way to do it. Either... From, from this little island, and if the bun buns are far enough away, or try to flush the bun buns over toward the cliff where I was throwing from earlier.
because as it is, um, I don't think Astrid has enough oof. Although, again, I, I could be wildly overestimating how far off 25 meters is. Can we not go further? Yeah, there we go. Okay. Okay, yeah, we needed a lot needed a lot more on that. Okay, we had the distance, we just didn't have the direction. Got him! First try. <clears throat> As far as anyone in the uh, viewing this clip will be concerned. <laughs> and see, I said that I said the bun one would live, and the bun bun lives. No bun buns were harmed in the making of this achievement. Uh, man, two achievements in one stream. This is, this is unusually uh, productive for me. Except the bruise. There is no evidence of any bruising on any bun buns. Certainly nothing that would stand up in court. Oh yeah, no, no worries, psychotic dear. We're gonna be wrapping up here shortly. Anyway, I, I uh, <laughs> yeah, my night is done. I'm gonna let other people uh, crack open the uh, the freshness seal on the update. I'll, I will get to it uh, in my own good time. Okay, so let's see, frontier shooting guide. Go ahead and drop that. Um, okay, yeah, the, go ahead and tear up the shoes. Go ahead and eat. You're going to have the faithful cartographer? Thank you, thank you. It's a, <laughs> it's a long time coming, but I am happy to have it out of the way. Oh, yeah, it just, it dawns on me. There's only one, <laughs> only one achievement to go, and it's the big one. We'll do a quick little bit of harvesting while we're at it. Oh, oh, hey, this one actually has some uh, some ammo in it. Go ahead and drop that. And that's not a very good torch at all. Harvest that. Yeah, two, yeah, revolver, re, no, not revolver, rifle shell casings. Right, two rifle shell casings and a pair of running shoes while beachcombing. Wild stuff. Uh, 
I see any clothes I need repairing. Not particularly. Go ahead and get that out of the old inventory. Um, actually, I was gonna, yeah, I was gonna punch out there. Actually, why don't we? We'll go ahead and we'll, we'll wrap things up by taking Astrid back to the uh, Quonset. How about that? That shouldn't take too long. All the while keeping eyes and ears out for Bear Friend. Uh, hey, thanks for the clip, TX. I appreciate that. I will, I will have a look at that um, once we punch out here. The court might. Uh, I don't. Is that? Oh no, that was just the wind. Okay, I do. I, sh I should probably, you know, reconsider this trajectory I'm taking. It's gonna. It is moving directly into an area with five wolves in front of it. Um, not, not the best approach, I dare say. I just five wolves all all bunched up together. That is, if that's if that's not stalker, I don't know what is. It's only few to update video now. It um. Did I miss something? I think I missed something. Oh, a few oh a few minutes to the update video. Ah, gotcha. Yeah, that that would be right. Yeah, so we're gonna we're gonna hustle Astrid back to the Quonset, and then we'll call it a stream so we can catch the, we. Well, I see I see we so everyone can catch the things live, not on this stream because we don't. I don't. I might I might be able to figure out a way to share video and whatnot, but I don't know that I could do it in the space of five minutes. <laughs> okay, looking both ways before crossing the street, because it's good life advice in general, and because we know there are lots of unfriendlies who like to traverse this very path. Nice. Anything else we need to drop? I don't think so. Yep, we're good. Okay, yeah, don't, we're just gonna, yeah, we'll just do the quick one hour sleep so we can get a save point. There we go. And we'll do the old journal check here real quick. So, 236 days in with, uh, With all mapping done, we have 265 wolf kills, as well as like eight bears, four moose, 
three deer and six mud buns. So you can tell who has chosen violence and who has not. Oh, we have a nice even 120 blizzards for five to two. <laughs> And we're going to take very good care not to press the reset stats button. I don't even know why it's there. But yeah, folks, we're going to leave it there. It is just about time. So thank you all so much for hanging out. I really do appreciate it. Thanks to TX and Psychotic Deer and Northern Lights. Thanks to Dunn for swinging by. Always good to see him. And Not Knob as well, bringing the knowledge as usual. And thanks to Daunt. And also, big thanks to Will for dropping that Prime sub. I really appreciate that. And also, thanks to all the Lurkers. I appreciate you folks as well. But now, I'm going to cut everyone loose. And we're all going to go watch the update video and be super duper hyped. Um, but as we do, let's go, let's go drop someone a raid. Continue to spread the love. Let's see who's out there. And let's do make sure to do a someone who is streaming the uh, the longest of darks. Um, let's see, Kimmy's on, CJ is on, Rand is on. Cats is still Cats is still playing Elden Ring. Oh dear, AV's playing something called Twinsons Little Big Adventure. And Thomasina is playing RimWorld. Weird day to be playing RimWorld, but okay. Um, let's check in on Kimmy real quick. Um, oh no, Kimmy is showing the video. Rand is showing the video too. Okay, well, I tell you, let's go. Let's go raid up Kimmy. His his raid message is nice and simple. So yeah, folks, if you can stick around uh, for the raid, I greatly appreciate it. Um, but yeah, get in there, check out the video, enjoy the update. I'm gonna jump on that tomorrow. So everyone, have a great day. Take care of yourselves, and we'll see you next time. Bye for now.